We talked about the quartiles as a number. We say that the date, the number that is cut the data into two equal parts, we call it median or Q2. And there's a Q1 and a Q3. Q1 and Q3, we call it Q2, we call them quartiles. It cuts or divides the data into a set of four equal parts. The, if you subtract Q3 minus Q1, we have it IQR or interquartile range. And if you subtract maximize minus the minimize, we call it the range. Let's talk today about with box and whisker plot. Box and whisker plot is a graph that summarizes a set of data by displaying it along a number line. So I will summarize a data by display. I will put the data, I will arrange the data on the number line. It has, oh, its name is box and whisker. It's mean I have box, and two whiskers. Its name is box and two whiskers. This is a box and this is whisker and this is the second one, the second whisker. That's why we call it box and whisker plot. How we make it? First step, find the Q1, Q2 and the Q3. Then from Q1 up to Q3, draw box and a Q2, a draw the median and draw a line starting from a Q1 or starting from the minimum up to Q1. This is the first whisker and from a Q3 up to the maximum, this is the second whisker. Let's have an example here in order to understand what did I say. Let's solve this example here. Making a box and whisker plots. The table at the right shows the amount of crops harvested in the United States for a certain period. What box and whisker plot represent the data? In order now to represent the data or to summarize the data by box and whisker, I need to find Q1, Q2, Q3, minimum and maximum. So I will repeat, what did I need? I need to find minimum. I need to find minimum, maximum, Q1. Q2, and Q3. When I found all of these, I can draw now my Wix uh, box and risk. So in order to find minimum, maximum, Q1, Q2, or Q3, I need to arrange the data. To arrange the data, let's know. Where's the minimum number here? We have 307. No, sorry, we have 303 first. So 303. 307. Um, 311. 311. Then 312. Where's 312? Where is it? Oh, yes. 312 and then 314 14 314 314 three times 316 ah 15 yes bravo 316 316 two times And then, and then 321. Yeah. So first I arrange the data, as you see. Now, as I told you, what do we need to find now? We need to find, let's draw a table here in order to fill my table with the five things that we need 
to find it. Minimum, maximum, Q2, Q1, and Q3. This is my table now. So then, let's find where's the maximum. Where's the maximum value here? 321. Bravo. 321. So the maximum here is a 321. And the minimum is 323. So and for, I found now minimum, maximum. I need now to find the Q1, Q2, and Q3. Yeah. Let's find Q1 and 2 and the 3. I need now here, here now. I want to write them, not like this. I want to write them like, stop just one minute, please. I want to write this one. Okay, let's find So, teacher, you broke the numbers here in the across millions, the 314 uh, to down under from the next table, also 307 to 303. Sorry, just a minute, please. I want to focus. Here. Okay, okay, sorry. Just, uh, just a minute, please. I want to make my small font smaller. Okay. Yeah, yes, fair. Ask me now. Yes, teacher. So the first step we took the data, the numbers from the accurate millions from the table. Yes. And then we arrange and them. So yes. Yes. After we arrange them, we find the minimum and the maximum. And then now I want to find the Q1, the Q2, and the Q3. Okay. Okay. Did now, can you repeat again? I need to draw box and whisker. What did I need? The first step, I arrange the data. I have this problem here. I will write the steps for you. The first step, I will arrange the data. Second step, after that, I will find the maximum point. of the maximum value, sorry, the minimum, and the quartiles, Q1, Q2, and Q3. These are the steps. You arrange the data, then after that, after you arrange it, you have to find the maximum, the minimum, Q1, Q2, and Q3, the quartiles. I draw this table here in order to fill it with the data we have. So my minimum and the maximum is very easy. I need to find now Q1, Q2, and Q3. Let's start with the Q2. I want to see now which data or which number it cut the data into two equal halves. So here now we have 10, not 10. So we yeah, it's mean we have even. So one, this one, play with this one. And then this number, play with this number. This one and this one. This one and this one. And then this number and this number. I think there's something one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven. Ah, oh, so there's something wrong here. So three hundred fourteen. How many times is repeated? Three times. Like three hundred three, three hundred seven, three hundred eleven. Okay, three hundred sixteen. It's repeated two times. I'll tell you. Two times. If there's something wrong. Yes, miss. Okay, which it? Which one? There's something wrong. Can you help me? Ah, oh, they are eleven numbers. Sorry. Yes, we are start from zero. Count them: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We don't have the yes, numbers. Oh, I'm 11. sorry. Yeah? Yes, miss. It's 11 numbers. Yeah, it's 11. So, yeah, that's correct. So, which number now cuts the data into two equal halves? 314. 314. 314. So, this is here Q2. Now, then, after I found the Q2, I need to find now Q1. How to find the Q1? I have to go to the first bar of chocolate here. Now, which number cuts the data into two equal halves? 311. Bravo, 311. 311. This is here, Q1. And which one? Now look at the second bar of the chocolate here. Now, which one cut the data into two equal halves? 316. 316. Bravo. 316. So now, Q1. Let's now fill my table. Q1, 311. Q2, 314. And the Q3, 316. After the Allah, is it clear how to find minimum, maximum Q, the quartiles? Yes. Yes. Now, after that, what do I need now? I need now to draw or to make box and whisker plot. Let's see here how. Let's take the data up. Say thank you. Stay here. I don't want you now. I will put them here now. Then I need now to draw a number line. Okay. This number line. One second, please. And on the number line here, I need to draw numbers such as 303. Hello. Look at what you have to do. I have to put Just a minute, please. Are starting from 303 up to 321. So now, to draw the number line, we have to make 300 starting from 300 as an example, ending with 321, or starting from the first number, ending with the second, the last number, 300 up to 321. I know I need now to represent them on the number line. So here. So yeah, 303, 
306. I didn't, يعني it's not very, uh, or it's not right to write all the numbers here only. No, I have to start from the first number up to the maximum number and start count by ones or by tens as you want. Like when you draw the x-axis, 303, 4, 5, 6, 307, 308, 309, 310, 311, 312, 313, 314, 315, 316, 317, 318, 319, 320, and 321. So you need to bring a number line and to draw on the number line, the numbers starting from 303, ending with 321. And the difference between each one is one. Yeah, I mean 303, 304, five, and you have to count. Is it clear now how I draw the number line? Yes, miss. Always the teacher should be like this. Yes, but not from 303. You have to start from the minimum and with the maximum. Okay. Okay. Then we say that now first step, let's draw Q1. Where is the Q1? It's a 311. Is it right? Yes, miss. So I will go up 311 and I draw a line like this. And at Q2, at, at 314, I will draw a line like this. And up to Q, uh, Q3 at 316. Like this. Then I will draw now my box because my box starting from Q1 up to Q3. This is the box now. This is here, the box. I told you it's box and two whiskers. To draw the two whiskers now, just I need to bring a line starting from Q1, ending with the minimum. Now, where's the minimum? At 303. So this is here, the yes. minimum. And where's yes. the maximum? At 321. I will draw my second whisker, ending at 321. If I did it now, this is the first whisker here. And this is here, the second whisker. Is it clear? Yes, miss. Yes, teacher. So here, first you have to arrange the data. Then after that, you have to find the maximum, the minimum, and the quartiles. Then we have to draw the number line starting from the minimum number ending with the last or the maximum number. And then we need to represent the data here from Q1 up to Q3, this is the my right rectangle, my box. In the mid, in the there's a line between them, and this line ca cannot be, oh, it couldn't be in the middle. Sometimes it could be near Q3, sometimes it could be near Q1. I will draw it, which is a Q2 here. So this is here, Q1. This is here, Q3. This is here, Q2. And then this is here, the maximum point, And this is here, the minimum point. So if I bring the whisker, a box and whisker plot for you, and then I'm asking you, what is the minimum point here? 203. And the maximum? 221. What is the first quartile? 316. 316. Right. Now, what is IQR? Who can find IQR? 
Could you again? IQR, interquartile range. Miss, it will be 321 minus 303 equal. Interquartile range. It's a Q3 minus Q1. Q3 is 316. And the Q1, it's a 311. So the interquartile range is five. Now who can find the range now? Yes, miss, it will be uh, 316. The, the maximum? It is the maximum minus the minimum. Where is the it maximum? 30. 321 minus 303, which is 20. That it is... Um, no, eight, 20, yes, yes. 18, 18. It's 20. <laughs> 321 minus 300 is 18. So IQR is 5, and the range here is 18. Miss, I didn't understand how we found the IQR. IQR, it's formula. Is the Q3 minus Q1? Where's the Q3? Q3, 316. Bravo. And the Q1? 311. Bravo. Now subtract. 316 minus 311. The number is 5. This 5 is IQR. Oh, okay. Thank you, Miss. Yeah. Is it clear now how to draw to make box and whisker plot? Yes, yes teacher. Okay. Yes, miss. Now here. What box and whisker plot represent the following monthly sales and millions of dollars of audio dev devices? We have 15, 4, 9, 16, 10, 16, 8, 14, 25, and 34. Uh, teacher? Yes. Can you tell for the page just a minute? Right, yeah. Yes. Okay, just. Uh, okay, thank you, teacher. Yeah. Here, let's remember now. What did I told you? I told you before that if we need to draw or to make work, uh, <coughs> box and whisker, the first step you have to arrange the data and then find the maximum, the minimum, and the quartiles. in order to fill the table here. Now, this is my table. I need now to fill it, but with the new numbers. Now what do we have to do first? First, we have to arrange the data. Four, nine. No teacher, eight. Okay. So four, eight, nine, 10. Fifteen, that fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen, twenty-five, and thirty-four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yes. So first, you have to arrange the data. 
Now, what is the maximum of a point or the maximum value? 34. 34. So, 34. And the minimum? 4. 4. Okay. Now, we need to find Q1, Q2, and Q3. In order to find them now, as we said before, let's say that each one number from the right play with the number from the left. So, 4, 34. 8 with 25, 9 with 16, 10 with 16. Now here, how many numbers in the middle? 2, 14 and 15. Bravo. So I need to find now the median. How? I cannot use 14 That's or them. 15. I, I need to be them by two. Four. Yeah, Four. I need to be now, or oh, I have to deem them in equal. So we have to add 14 plus 15, so plus divide 15. them by two. Divide by two. So here, yeah. So here, the number in the middle will be Q2. So Q2 here will be 14 plus 15, which is 29, divide by two, which is 14.5. So now let's write here that's Q2 after we found it as 14.5. Then we need now to find the Q1 and the Q3. And since we didn't use 14, so I will use it to find the Q1. And we didn't use 15, so I will use it to find Q3. Is it right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Now yes. then, which number in the middle here divide the first bar of chocolate into two equal parts? Nine. Number nine, bravo. And which number in the second bar here divide the number into two 16. equal parts? Okay. 16. Bravo. 16. So we find now that Q1 is nine, and the Q3 uh, is 16. After I fill my table now, what do you have to do the, six, the third step? We have to draw the number line. Now, in order to draw the number line, remember that. This is my number line here. Then we have now to start from number four. Or you can start from number one as you want. Let's start from number one as, as an example. So let's say. Four to 34. To 34. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, Teacher, could we start from four or we should start from one? You can start from one or from 31. From, uh, sorry, from one or from four. But I just, I want to start from uh, four to from one, just take, just to tell you that we didn't use it. We start from you use four. Okay. But later on, you can start from one. now, what is the max? Now let's now represent the numbers. What is the maximum point? 
34. Okay, so this here I will draw now. This is the maximum point. And where's the minimum? Four. Four. Okay, I will plot now. So my whisker and box is starting from four, ending at 34. Now, where's the Q1? Q1, we found it at nine. Four. So oh, at nine. 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 We start from here. Nine. This is a Q1. Now, where's the Q2? 14.5. 14.5. 14 14.5. In the middle here. And where's the Q3? 16. 16. 16. So now I draw my sides of my box. This is the box. And then I will make a line starting from a Q1. To connect with the minimum, this is my first whisker, and then from the Q3 <coughs> to my maximum to draw the second whisker here. Is it clear? Yes, yes, yes up here, I will write, and this is not very important, but you know, this is the monthly. Sales and millions of dollars. This is the number line that represents the monthly sales in millions of dollars. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. miss. Okay. Is it clear or shall I need to solve another example? No, miss, it's clear. Thank you so much. Yeah, welcome. Now for the percentile, I will not give it for you. Just to concentrate about how to find the interquartile range, quartiles, and how to make the box and whisker plot. Miss, here is the interquartile range. It will be... It will be oh, let's find it. Okay, we have it any time. Just a minute, please. Here, let's draw, find now IQR and the range. As an example, if I give it to you now at the, at the quiz, I give you this, there's nothing here, there's no table, and you have only box and whisker plot. Okay, I bring it like you, for, for you like this. And then I asked you, what is a Q1? What is a Q2? What is a Q3? What is the minimum? What is the maximum? What is IQR? And what is the range? Here you have fill in the blanks. And I need you now to find each of these questions. Q1, Q2, Q3, minimum, maximum, IQR, and the range. Yeah. Let's do it here. What is the Q1? Nine. 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 This is a Q1. Now, what is a Q2? 16. 14.5. 14. 14.5. What is a Q3? 16. 16. 16. Bravo. 16. What is the minimum? Four. Two. Four. 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 What is okay. the maximum? 34. 34. 34. 34. Now, IQR. IQR is Q3, it's formula, is Q3 minus Q1. Yani I mean, it's the length, IQR, it's, mean it's the length of the uh, box. Seven, teacher. <laughs> so how? Seven. Seven. Minus seven. Minus nine. Nine. Sixteen minus nine is seven. This is IQR. Now the range is the length, uh, is the, you can say, is the length, of the big box and whisker. And I have to start from this point, ending with this point. So what is the length? 30. 30. 30. 30. Maximum. Minus the minimum. Thirty four minus maximum. 30 equals 30. It is the maximum minus the minimum, which is 34 minus four, which is 30. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. 
Yes, miss. Okay. That's our lesson. Tomorrow, inshallah, we are going to start with a lesson six, okay? Lesson five, we will, not, we will skip it, how to make a survey. We are going now to lesson number six.